How's it going, everybody? My name is Frosty Espresso, and today, um, I, w I wanted to show off a little bit of my inventory for, um, whatever trading comes on its way. And a little bit besides I want to showing off my inventory for you guys, um, I kind of need to talk a little bit about, um, some other things. And two big topics for you guys, um, number one... I need to talk about my current state playing Dirty Bomb. I'm reaching that point where I'm not quitting Dirty Bomb, heavens no. I love the game to death, I love the characters and the gameplay, but it's the rewarding of me playing daily is my big concern. And it's like, over time, SD has been trying to make playing the game daily. Rewarding for all players because they know for the longest time it's been very unfriendly to newer players to earning stuff. So what they've done over time from removing equipment cases to adding in loadout cases which is a good thing but also a bad thing at the same time for those who are you know veteran player status. It's like we don't want really, we really don't want loadout cases, because at this point of the game, it's like I have most, I have most or almost all the loadout cards and whatever rarities that for somehow, some way I have. And it's like, I don't really need loadout cases. And the thing is, they don't even drop as common. Remember guys, equipment cases? Yeah, they dropped every two matches or so. These loadout cases, it's like I level up once or twice now with this new level up system before I even get one loadout case. And most of the time I don't even get a loadout case. I get a locked weapons case. Which is another whole issue. It's like I, I played to get it and it's like, oh, well that's disappointing. I gotta go buy a key to open it. With what credits you have to buy with rads. Can I just convert credits to rads? Nope, that's not a thing. Okay, then. Uh, hmm. That's kind of concerning. Another thing is the whole leveling up system. <laughs> Speaking of that, it's like I level up, I get an advancement crate. And most of the time, I'm getting stuff I don't even need or want. Back then, yeah, we got like a thousand fragments. Loadout cases. It seems like most of the time that's all, all I was getting, and it's like, I don't need any of this. And over time, they've been changing the advancement crates, you know, the contents of them. I remember when there was 400, 700, 800, and then whole thousand two hundred rads you could get, and I thought, yeah, you know what, it might be worth the grind trying getting some rads. Now it's like 100, 200, 400 rads, and you really can't do too much with that, and. It's like I have to spin, keep spinning and leveling up a hundred times over and over just to get like a small disappointing amount of rats. So it's like, what's the point of doing that? And the worst part of all this daily thing is changing missions to contracts. They're technically the same thing, except we went from, oh yeah, play one to two matches, which is no more like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes, which is reasonable to get 1,500 credits to 3,000 credits per every three hours to sit down and you're gonna play for hours and hours and hours to complete just one of those contracts. The first two, sure, you could get done easily, but then the third one, it takes you a nice long amount of time. It's like, it takes almost about long as it was beforehand to grind for every three hours. Oh, and don't get me started about tokens. Sure, you regenerate them and all that. By the time, you know, you're done doing your mission stuff, you can re-roll and get your new missions. And then it's like, oh great, they're a nice long surgery. Like, 60,000, like, general experience. Who's gonna play that long a day? The average person is not going to. It's gonna take a person like two to three days, probably at most, to do those missions, the average person. For me, it's gonna take me sit around for like three, four hours to do three simple, like, quote, quote simple missions. And my problem is, sure, you may have removed the, you know, you have to play, you have to have certain mercs in your squad in order to do the mission, but now it's like I have the freedom to do that, but I need to grind just five, ten times longer than I needed to, just for the same amount of credits. 
So I don't see what's so friendly about that, besides making it a bigger pain in the rump for all players. So it's like, I don't even know if, if I should really be even playing uh, Dirty Bomb every day now at this point. Because I don't see, I don't really see the point of playing uh, daily anymore. It's more of a pain in the rump to get to grind for anything. And sure, you can say, oh, the reward for me is, oh, you're, you know, you're a YouTube content creator. You know, that's your reward. It's like, but the thing is, you guys, you guys don't understand, you know, is it, it's a pain in the rump to be a content creator. It is. I'm just lucky to get footage. I'll, I'll entirely be honest. That's pretty much how my channel has built up, based up of lucky events happening in game. And now it's like, it's now happening more often and stuff, because, you know, I guess my name has been around and stuff for a decent amount of time, but it's like, now, it's like, I, I want to be rewarded just besides, you know, making content for you guys, which I love to do, but it's like, I need something coming from the other end, in-game stuff. And... Overall, I feel like I'm not really earning credits as I used to. I feel like I'm not getting much, like, new loadout cases and stuff as I used to. I I really felt like the game has really gone down uh, the drain for me when it comes to try um, being rewarded for playing the game. So at this point, um, what's going to happen with Dirty Bomb related content, you may ask? I'm going to... You might see a little bit less Dirty Bomb content, which is going to bring up to the second thing. And before I bring up the second thing, this is one of these reasons why I feel like Dirty Bomb should not be going to 1.0. And I've been creating this list for literally like months now. And I'm going to tell you, it's getting spicier and spicier and spicier. And I'm trying to so hard not like target splash damage uh you know because it's not entirely their fault and i'm not trying to be a dev defender because this because the one point of video is definitely not going to be in that case i'm trying to criticize you know dirty bomb and splash damage equally and fairly as i can but it's like stuff is leaning more towards splash damage than anything. And I, and for you guys who work at splash damage, I really appreciate the stuff that you do. You guys are friendly folk, don't get me wrong. But I really wish you were one of those, commu those you know, companies that will take the first stance of actually listening and doing stuff based on what your community says. I sure there's like Overwatch and stuff, but it's like, they're a bigger game and stuff and most of the time, they don't. It seems like I I look at some of the, some of like the forums and stuff for Overwatch, and they still seem like there's no one's listening to them and stuff. I really would love to see you guys be one of those first, you know, one of those first gaming companies that are like, you know what, the community is right, and we should, you know, implement the stuff that they're saying. Because some of it is right, and some of it is wrong, sure. And I feel like there's some things companies should definitely have to say into what um what should be there like you know what merch should be in the game what weapons should be in the game what you know maps and stuff but i would love to see you know more implements based off our feedback than your sd's end okay because until i see actual proof of sd listening to the community and actually implementing our feedback I don't really, um, have faith in 1.0. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm dead serious about this. And this is why this is coming to my other thing, is I'm coming with a fallback plan, just in case when 1.0 comes by and it's not successful. This is what's gonna bring to me this other idea. And I'm not quitting Dirty Bomb, do not get me wrong. And SD, like I said for a long time, I love you guys. But I would really love to see things happening. Stop giving excuses towards the things saying, oh, to 1.0, or we can't. I would love to see you guys try. Besides giving out excuses. Because it's the more that you guys are saying these same answers over and over and over again, you guys are really starting to really kill the potential of this game. So this brings to my second part. I want to do like a new kind of series and 
I was gonna call it like, you know, like an old school blink or something, you know? Like an old school series. Because I'm one of those kind of players that, um, that really like to go back appreciating older games. And there's some games I've played and some that I haven't. And I want to share my experiences with you guys. Which brings up to this. I took advantage of the Steam Summer Sale and I ended up purchasing three different franchises. Or just three different types of games, okay? I bought in pretty much all the Dooms, all the Quakes, and most of the Wolfenstein series. I'm gonna put up a poll and I really want you guys to take the time into voting in which game, which game series you want me to start with. The original Quake, the original Doom, or start off with Wolfenstein 3D. And I will continue off of there. And the the other things to bring up brings us up to is should I do like a you know like a let's play series or should I stream this or do like a mix of both? This is up to you guys to do, and I also want to say, I think, based off of what I've been playing for a while, I've also been, off the side, been playing Quake Champions. And much as they have that red shell spyware thing, if you're not aware of what that is, it's pretty much just a spyware thing that that just goes over what games and stuff you, you play and social media, and which ones are in particular successful, and I guess, uh... Yeah, <laughs> you see where I'm gonna go with this? Still, it's fine, it's not cool. And luckily they are removing it next week and hopefully not putting it back in because it sounds like they want to bring it back in but they pissed off all the new players that came in. So, um, expect a Quake Champions video um, sometime in the future. Just, just remember, I'm not quitting Dirty Bomb, it's just I'm gonna be playing a little bit less of it because I'm starting to lose a little bit of interest in the game as long as I don't feel like I'm being awarded enough by playing the game. And it's not your guys' fault, it's just... And I'm not point, trying to point fingers because I, I, I try to stay neutral and everything and I don't usually like speaking out unless... There's a little bit, and I'm a little bit pumped up, and I must let it out, then I will. And I've reached that boiling point. I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated with how Dirty Bomb is going, because, like I said, this that's only one of the reasons, only one of the reasons why I'm getting a little bit steamed of why I, I should continue playing Dirty Bomb daily. And like I said, I have that 1.0 video coming out. Uh, talking of most, it's mostly gonna be negative, and just get ready for criticism, because that's what you get for being in the public guy. So, anywho, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch off my inventory. You guys can comment down. Um, you know, what you guys want, if there's any trades you want to think of doing, uh, don't forget to join my Discord if you especially want to talk about trades and or other, any other things. So, uh, I'll go ahead and leave it off there. This is Frosty Espresso saying thank you for taking a sweet time of watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.